Hey folks, Quilly King here and welcome to some more Let's Play Baldur's Gate, the Insanely Evil Edition. The last time we left off, we had talked about leaving Baldur's Gate itself for a little while and visiting the fabled Durlog's Tower over here. Durlog's Tower, which I believe we're going to go ahead and still do. I think that sounds like a swell idea. Uh, party's ready to leave town. We've got a decent number of supplies. I will start to unload some of our more potent arrows over here. Um, can I buy acid arrows in store? I think in Baldur's Gate 2, the acid arrows and all the other elementals, uh, elemental arrows are a lot more balanced here in Baldur's Gate 1. They like That's a ridiculous amount of damage. I did just load up on a bunch of arrows of fire plus 2. Like They're plus 2, so they're better to hit. They don't do as much ludicrous damage. Correct. Hang on, let me take a quick little peek back at Sorceress Sundries just on the off chance that we can buy acid arrows there. If it turns out they've got tons and they're not actually like way more expensive, then I'll feel a little bit foolish about my purchase here, but we'll see. I don't think there's anything equivalent like that for the um, sling stones. Like the bullets of fire, it is an extra D6. That's actually quite a lot of damage. You know, I think I keep looking at the plain numbers. I think it's because I in Baldur's yes. Gate 2, I th is it just like an extra plus one damage, like the swords and things? Uh, do, 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 do. That was the detonation, I believe, the fireball. They're really good. And yeah, biting, it's like a 20 second delay, which is fairly long. Fire, ice, piercing. Piercing's just an extra plus six damage. And there is a save. Yeah, I said arrows. 400 bucks each. Okay, they are very, or 400 bucks for each five. So they are quite a bit pricey, but still, only twice the price of arrows of fire. Yeah, I really... I think I kind of oofed a little over there. Let's just buy, um, uh, let's see. Three stacks is 48. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many I want to buy. There you go. Oh, 16, right, would be the thing. Hang on. We'll get a full stack of these at the very least. I probably should have gone crazier for that. And bullets, yeah, I don't, I think they just got plus one, plus two bullets. Maybe there's some shops somewhere that sell uh, the ones with modifiers, but we bought it over here. Now, I do have a very specific, special little arrow for Quill that we're going to be using as a bit of a pit stop before we actually go to Durlog's Tower. We got to get a little bit of vengeance on someone. So, we're still leaving town. Bum, 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 bum. Go to Durlog's Tower. Oh, Kagan, if only everyone could run as quickly as you. We don't even have Rasad anymore, who was relatively quick. Not that it really mattered, because of his position, because I had him parked in the back of the party. He was usually stuck behind people, although that seemed fine, because I didn't really want him to be in the front of things anyway. So before we go to Durlog's Tower, we're going to return to Firewine Bridge. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Okay, that's... If I just unpause, you guys will just murder everyone, right? Weapon unusable. Oh yeah, he just finished a stack of uh, plus one arrows over there. Um, I'm going to load in... Some of these fire arrows, but keep using these plus one arrows for now. All right, what an exciting little encounter! My gosh, Firewine Bridge. Yes, no, there we go. Woo, laggy. Oh, hold on, I'm installing something in the background, aren't I? Uh, pause, pause all. Okay. Sorry about that. There we go. Now we're nice and smooth. I forgot I had a background, a, a, a download running. All right, let's have a little nap. Good. Now let's head over here. I know it's going to be a bit of a hike, but that's okay. I wonder. I don't know if you can pass under bridge. I guess not, because I haven't set to highlight walkable areas. So I guess the answer is no. I guess that makes sense, because I don't think this game, like, there, there's no Z levels in this game. There's like visually some things look like Z levels um, and the creative use of, you know, walkable and unwalkable terrain does that. But yeah, it's just a 2D like graphic and 2D walkable zone. But we're going to take a crack at that freaking ogre mage again, which I think we could have taken a while ago knowing um, I had some some wands and things that turns out would have probably gotten the job done, but I hadn't realized it. Enemy set. OK, Here, eat expensive magical missiles. We'll still do pre-buffing. We're still going to take this seriously. Okay, Quill. 
I have this arrow of slaying. I'm just going to put in that, that slot there. Um, and then we'll do this. But we are, we're going to start with the arrow of slaying. So the arrow of slaying, if it hits, insta-kills ogre mages. So that's pretty good. Be Plus, we have magic arrows now. The, the ogre mage had protection from magic missile or from normal missiles before. It was a whole thing. So we're saved. We'll pre-buff. Good. Come over here. Um, what's wrong? We see the jar. Give us the jar. Give us the jar. We're taking the jar. All right. So he's gonna have his own chitter chatter here, but. We're just going to be ready to initiate combat. How may I be of assistance? All right, arrow slang is loaded, which is great. Uh, the other what thing is, you? who's got the wand of paralysis? This should go through his spell shield because it's actually turns out, it, yeah, it doesn't. This is probably um, not the minor globe invulnerability, but something like that. It probably ignores third level spells and below. Well, it's not going to ignore this. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Flavor text. Quill, did it, uh... You hit. There you go. Be direct. And he died. <laughs> oh, so cheesy. What is it this time? Whatever. This guy killed us so many times. Oh, Quill shouldn't be is picking up things. Really Should no be bail off. He drops on. a non-magic katana. It's one of the very few sources of katanas in the game. Knaves robes, which are just going to offload over there. Sure, we'll ID this. We've got a bunch of unidentified protection scrolls actually in Bailoth's inventory still, but that's going to be okay. Um, yeah, let's go and burn through some of our plus one arrows here. Okay, that's fine. Chum, 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 chum. Okay. Good, good work, everyone. Now, let's go back to where we're actually here to go, Durlog's Tower. Durlog, Durlag. Why is Dorn moving so slow? Oh! He's, I don't think he gets hasted because of uh, his gear. Durlag's tower! Direwolves. I mean, they're actually pretty decent. That's someone else, you filthy swine. I don't know they were aggroing on. There we go. I, will I mean, they're not super scary now. at this point in the game. Uh, hello, person with a name. What are you doing here? So I have, like, zero memory of this place, other than the fact that it's got tra crazy amounts of traps. That's all I remember about this place. Was this added in Tales of the Sword Coast? Hang on. Uh, Boulders... Boulders Gate, Tales of the Sword Coast. I don't know if that was part of the thing, or if it was something else. Um, 20, 30 extra hours, right? Uh, same world, blah, 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 blah. Give the experience point cap. Yeah, sure. Small turn, Ogoth Beard, yes. The Werewolf Island, and Durlog's Tower. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, I think we're going to do the tower. We may not do the other bits, Be just because I'm kind of anxious to get the Baldur's Gate 2. The same um, same reasoning with whether or not to do the Siege of Dragon Spear, uh, which I've never done before. Um, but I understand it's it's relatively linear. It's it's a little bit more like combat oriented, very much like Icewind Dale, which I enjoyed a lot. But I think what I really want to do, the whole reason for doing Baldur's Gate one again, is mostly to like get a character, get reinvolved in the world, just to do Baldur's Gate two. So I think that's going to be the thing. Step right up, step right up. Welcome to the brave new age of mercantile expansionism. Ladies and gentlemen, a brave new age where we make money off death itself. Money off of horror, my poor children. Money off of loss. And what the hell's going on here? Money off of loss and pain and logging. Money off of ravaged beauty and tainted honor. Money off a of man gone mad. Now, all my dear voyeurs, ask not what you can do for me, but what I can do for you. Um, what can you do for me? Aye, selfish one. You ask it right and true. No false piety hidden in your bloated soul. Well, if you be asking a seller of cynicism and a merchant of mischief, I be. If you are so dead set on losing yourself in that toad-like tar, tor like tower, I can assist in assuring that you don't all take, don't take all your pretty gold with you. Oh, you're a vendor. So I guess conveniently having a vendor on the map. I was going to say, his arrows are twice as expensive, but no, they sell in packs of 10 instead of 5. Right, still no bullets with the extra damage. Okay, so you're just here for some convenience. All right. Darts are stunning. Save so you spell or be stunned for seven rounds. 
This one's pretty good. God, they're expensive, but I can see why. Okay, no, I think we're fine. It is ha nice to have an ammo vendor nearby, though. Um, I will want to. I, I suppose I should rest here. Okay. You are and so then, irritating. Cast yourself your shield spell. What do you want? Cast yourself a shield spell. Redirect. I mean, they cast it as part of their pre-buffing if we are going to combat, but let's get it ahead of time. Um. Oh, okay. Doesn't help that it's dark here. Makes it a little hard to see the path. But it's kind of like purplish brownie rocks on top of purplish brownie rocks, you know? A uh, battle horror. Okay, I think these battle horrors really represent like the warm up, the gear check to let you know how dangerous this area is because it is pretty difficult. And I think the battle horrors are actually one of the more difficult fights in here. I don't remember what kind of like immunities and crap they have, but let's let's go ahead and just unpause for a sec. Okay, Quill. Battle horror is immune to my damage. That's despite using plus one arrows. Do we need plus two arrows to hit you? What do the arrows of ice count as? Oh, they actually have no bonus to hit. I should probably burn these off. Actually, we got another stack over here. But let's go ahead, equip some um, some arrows of fire. So these are plus two arrows. Um, it could just be that he's human piercing. We'll see what happens if Vaconia lands a hit. Does it not pause again? Huh. Wait, Baloth. The is there get the hell out of there, Baloth! Oh my god. I didn't notice he was out in front. Which makes sense. I, I really, I still think maybe I should have just equipped him with this thing just to keep him out of trouble. Speak and be gone. I should have started some spell casting. But I wanted everyone to just auto attack here. Okay, I'm not gonna buff. I wanted everyone to auto attack so I could see the weapon immunities. But. Eh? What do you want? Let's see if you can be magic missiled. Oh, we know Quill won't be able to hit with that. And apparently won't be able to hit with the arrows of fire either. Okay, let me try this again. Viconium was immune to my damage. Now you are just using plus one bullets. We do have some plus twos. Okay, Kagan taking some damage. Well, yeah, no, definitely, I think we can definitely confirm that the plus two arrows don't work. But the melee weapons do, so maybe it's just a missile immunity. What is it this time? Is there really no one else you can bother? Again, you disturb me. Missile, nice, good, consistent damage. Actually, yeah, let's, um, acid arrow the one in the back. You are so irritated. Jeez. How hard are they hitting? 14. No, you're just getting hit a few times. 4,000 XP. I mean, they're worth crap tons of XP. There's no denying that. Let's pull Kagan back just in case you get crit. I'm hoping you re-targets? No? Okay, now you're just leading them to my squishies, so... That doesn't sound so great. What is it now? I guess you're just going to keep magic missling. Okay, let's not acid arrow again. Let's just hit you with this. Alright, once again, Kagan, try to run away. There we go. Dead, dead, dead. What are we doing on heal spells, Vicky? Oh, you still got some. Thank you. Be direct. Keep going. And another one. Yeah, I know he's not full, but we can we can start moving out here. Okay. I think there's not too much more on the surface. I wasn't planning a pre-buff. Although I suppose we could rest again before we go in. You know what? Here, let's do a pre-buff. Some of these things do last a long time. I don't want to get too many early uh, exhaustions, but... Uh, yeah, this shouldn't be anything. Oh, you can't actually exit there. I'm thinking with this map, there may just be the one the one way in and out. Uh, oh, there's a little path over here. Okay, we can exit through the south. I don't think this leads anywhere. Poor Dorn, so slow. Maybe I should 
should have kept your old weapon. Maybe at this point, the fact that you can't be hasted is actually a huge detriment. Maybe I should have kept his old two-handed sword and just swap. Oh, mm, well. Um, can I give you the speed boots? I need an L. Speak and be gone. I Does that work? For now. Nope. Okay. Be direct. Hmm. Some spells just wearing off. All right, let's check the outside of this first. I'm not con oh double well, just regular doppelganger. That's nothing. That's nothing. Man, we'll wander around a little bit here just to see. Oh, that's a way in. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that might just be a way up to the top of the ledge. Don't get too far ahead there, Kagan. I guess if he gets in trouble, you can always run away. In which case, maybe he makes an ideal scout. I don't know. Skeleton. I don't want to talk. Oh, are you up on the ledge? I think you might be, actually. Speak and be gone. Yeah, I don't think we can get to those. Unless we do this. Yeah. Um. Bolsa. Switch back to those. Actually, keep burning through your plus one bullets for now. I will listen for now. Is there really no one else to bother? I mean, there's no real excitement in killing. So Wait, there's a Doom Guard in here? Okay. That's a little bit more exciting. I mean, not anywhere as scary as the Battle Horror or whatever it was called. Uh. Well, apparently, I'm taking a little bit of damage. Can someone finish this off? Thank you. That was embarrassing. <gasps> Who leveled up? Kagan! Well, let's do that right now, my friend. Damn, level 7. Improved saves. And of course, a crap ton of hit points. Breaking the three digit barrier. I think he might be the only, other than like a, like a main character that has been set up with a really high starting con. I think he's the only one that can break triple digits in Baldur's Gate 1. I mean, there is a higher XP cap if you have Tales of the Sword Coast installed, which if you have an enhanced edition, you just do. I, I really don't expect there to be anything of value up here. I think we should probably just go in. But yeah, no, okay. Let's just let's just path back down here. Do 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 do. Things might respawn. Right, you guys are wearing cursed stuff, that's what that means. I guess we're out of heals. Vicky, should I change your spells around for a little bit more longevity here? You know what? I assume we're going to be fighting a lot of undead. We might still want to remove fear. That's something we pre-buff with. How long does it last? It does last an hour. Yeah, that's an excellent pre-buff. I'm going to cancel command. I'll throw another Cure Light Wounds, which doesn't heal that much, but still. Uh, the chants are still good. The slow poisons are still good. And one silence seems like a fairly decent idea. And here you're just packing Cure Light Wounds. We could put Cure Serious Wounds. It's not much more. Cure Light, Cure Medium is 14 hit points. Cure Serious is 17. It's only three more HP per cast. Um, whereas your defensive buffs, the protection from evil and the um, defensive harmony are substantial. I will listen for now. They're shorter duration though, right? Is that six rounds? Yeah. I think the protection from evil, yeah, last, well, all right, turns, but several minutes is actually a pretty long time. I think we will rest one more time. Let me actually turn the party around so our tanky people on the outside. We're going to rest one more time before we head in. Okay. Be direct. Now, I believe there's a million traps in here. What is it this time? What is my fine traps currently? It's 95. Right, and no penalty. Oh, there's a 5%. Okay, so 90%. Speak and be gone. I, I'm not, I can't remember for sure, but I believe that in most of Baldur's Gate 1, 
I think you can get away with like 80%, maybe 85% five traps to find every trap there is, except maybe in Durlog's Tower, where I feel like you needed 95, which actually means we're only packing a 90. Now, we do have those potions of thievery, and they actually last a pretty long time, but they'll go away if we rest, obviously, so... I'm expecting this to turn red. Yeah, I don't really pick locks. Four whole gold pieces. Wow. Uh-huh. Maybe there's nothing in this first. Um. It's a skeleton, but it doesn't have a circle. Is it part of the decor? Is it supposed to be lying on the ground? That seems yes. odd. It's going to be a little slower paced than uh, most of what we've done here. Because I, A, I don't remember it, and B, all I remember is that I should be terrified. I guess I could give Quill the boots of the cheetah, because then he can scout forward and then run back if he gets in trouble while spotting traps. I kind of find that idea appealing. And then the Talos' gift. There you go. If we let lightning bolt in, you're slightly less likely to insta-die. Oh, I feel like you're missing a symbol. Wasn't there like the magic resistance? Well, I guess that's the blue. Okay. What All right, we're fine. All right, Quill. Warp speed. The biggest thing will be pausing long enough to give it a chance to detect traps. Yeah, I might be being overly paranoid in this level. This level is the one to lull us into a false sense of security. You know, maybe the idea is this first level has been um, plundered already. Where do we get? Oh, over this way. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So I think the big part of this tower, despite being called the tower, I think is mostly going. Uh, it is mostly going down. So I think the thing to do is go up first. There's a staircase here, but we'll go up the center staircase first. Because why not? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pre-buff now. Alright. Yes? go. Let's trap chests, not ground traps. There we are. Okay. A guest. <laughs> I will listen for now. Oh, and some more. Okay. Oh, a ton of them. All right. Murder, death, killed. Oh, we triggered a trap of some kind. Actually, let's pull back here so they've got the bottleneck. Is the Konya held? I hope this... Oh, yeah, it's being held by the... The gas... Hey, this is a repeating trap. Hold on. Maybe the trap is holding us. Um, This is actually being super duper bad. See? This is what I said. It's gonna... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Boom. We're all dead. It's gonna very much be that kind of experience here. Eh? What do you want? Let's actually acid arrow that one and give it time to take down. Yeah, she might just die. And I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Quill doesn't have, like, the cure spells from being a good aligned protagonist. Let's make sure that thing is dying. Okay, it died there. What is it now? Okay, there's no one around Victoria anymore. Or Viconia, sorry. So I think we're all right. Okay. Nobody move. Yeah, no kidding, there's a trap there. Yeah, and the fact that they're not single fire traps is bad. Luck okay. Whole person's actually really bad when you're going into a fight. Um but the fact that we're hitting the repeating traps, I'm really happy that it wasn't a damage one. Because it just 
this was okay. Let's wait for this to wear off. Vicky did take a ton of damage she wouldn't have if she wasn't held. Oh, I can save while there's a hold? There we go. I'm gonna wait a tick in here. Again, it would be really nice if, like, there was a visual indicator of the round ticks. I, like I don't, I don't think the there is. Goes. I guess, you know, confirm that a six second round has gone by. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Interesting. Staircase down? I wonder if that connects to the other staircase? Is akin to my home. Oh, there's that. That home does not welcome me. Oh, she's getting her we're in a dungeon text. Yeah, I think we're gonna find a lot Can of gems. Again you disturb me. I think you've got a knock spell as well, don't you? No? Eh? You? What do you want? No. Speak. Maybe we can just force it. I've got 19 strength now, right? May I be of assistance? <laughs> Dang. I will listen for now. Hmm. Maybe I should have invested a lot more into open locks rather than ever going down the stealth route, which I I, I do think I don't think I'm going to use that often because it does mean not having your fine traps running while you're stealthing. So like the whole thing like like scout ahead. But yeah, I usually want to scout ahead or traps. And we put a little pickpockets, which actually is going to be kind of nice in the early phase of Baldur's Gate 1. I don't remember what, um, what's his name? Yoshimo. I don't remember what kind of, um, thief skills he comes in with. I feel like he comes in with 100% fine traps. I don't know about pickpockets. There's some abusive stuff you can do with pickpockets in that game. Uh, how do I want to take this? Yeah, that's not going to work. Let me just confirm. I've got 19 strength. Oh, no, I don't. Be direct. There we go. That one worked. The thing is, even with like a 25 strength, um, your chance to pick is not that high. All right. Let's go up a level again. Night Singer, give How me may I be of power. assistance? Stand here, Quill. Just stand here. A little longer. All right. Let's move in. Go into the other side here. Any scrolls? Come over to the other side. No, just books. All right. By the way, if you're curious about the um, the books, apparently they're all in the wiki. You need something strange. Okay, yeah, you're gonna get pulled over here. I will wherever the hell you are. For now. You need something stranger. Not another step. State your name and what you're doing in this place. State your name. I doubt you're a Durlag, so you are as much of an intruder as I. I kind of like that. Loot the tower, yeah. Did me harm. No, no, we'll, we'll be confrontational. You doubt I'm Durlag? Well, give the fool a prize. Turns out I'm not the dwarf that's been dead over a hundred centuries, or, or a bunch of centuries. Good for you, but my question still stands. Who are you? I don't care a whit what you're doing in the tower. I just want to know what you're doing sneaking up my backside. I don't like people sneaking near me. It makes me nervous. I think we're going to keep a confrontational thing. I don't know what this Rigolo's deal is, but... <laughs> you should be nervous. If anything were to happen to you in here, no one could say it wasn't just another adventurer dying in some dungeon. Oh, you would? Well, I would hate to have to kill you just for saying that alone. Why don't you try to rattle me further so I've really got a reason to put you out of my misery? Go where I like. If you think you can stop me, now would be the time to try. I'm here to conquer this place. Let it be stopped by the likes of you. If you get in my way, I will not end well for you. Oh, I'll not get in your way if you don't get in mine. Just don't think me a pushover. Go where you wish, but I doubt I'll be seeing your face again in a friendly fashion. Leave me. Be direct. Poke. You need something stranger. You again? You've been warned once about bothering me. I <laughs> got a good handle on some puzzles below, and I don't need you disturbing my thinking. I'm betting you can give me tons of info. Place about a full split through your same line of work. Here's money. Share the wealth. Sorry to bother you. 
Now, nah, out of my sight. I don't need to answer. You. I might be doing something that's like really unhelpful here. But every night again, I like to remind myself that I'm supposed to be kind of an evil jerk. Maybe I should just kill you now and be done with it. Made a fatal mistake, friend. Didn't come to this place unprepared. Was expecting far worse than you. You any loot? And be gone. Is there really no one else? I suspect he's going to get exploded by just my regular attacks here. Oh, yes, he is. Well, you've got some loot. That is, I think, a plus one short sword and plus one leather armor. So not terribly notable. But again, fun to be a jerk from time to time. I will listen for now. There's all them traps. Okay, actually, everyone chill out back here again. This one's not trapped? But I already fix it. Oh, so nervous. That's gonna be trapped. Come on. Hmm. I was gonna say, what, just the altar? No. Ooh, Dire Charm! Oh, exhausted from our haste spells. Did I just fail to undo the alt? There's a stat tome in here? There's a stat tome in here? Wisdom. Wait, does that mean there are four wisdom tomes in Baldur's Gate 1 now? No, I'm getting confused. The one we find in the Noel Stronghold is Charisma, right? So we get a Wisdom Tome uh, from the Church of Timora for Umberly, which we ate. There's one under Castle Candlekeep. Because I thought there were three, but I thought we'd already, I'd already um, uh, sort of accounted for all three. But I think I was thinking the one in the Noel Stronghold was was Wisdom. This must be the third one. All right, well, we'll eat that. Again, like, Viconia is just sitting there in the back being like, are you serious? Do you know what I could do with more wisdom? It's like, yeah, but you don't understand. In Baldur's Gate 2, I'm going to want to cast wish spells, and so I'm going to want more wisdom. Still don't have enough to do ex all the things I want, but I guess we'll do that for now. All right. Let's go up. It does. There's a little pantry back here. With no loot. Okay. There's something... Oh, we can go this way. I, have I know, you're tired. Sleeping in a dog pile with oh, you a ghost! Find me an inn. Durlog! Durlog, my friend! You've returned for Age Upon Age. It is I! You've returned after Age Upon Age. There we go. It is I, Datil, your friend of old. I have waited, waited long for your coming that I may help. My friend. Um... Yeah, we'll lie. Sure. Uh, yes, I've missed your company. You're uncharacteristically civil this day, Durlog. I think you are taller than I recall. Yeah. What? Hey, what happens if I was a dwarf doing this? Or even a halfling? Hmm, time changes all, I guess. Though I uh, has not erased my debt. I will serve here until you wish otherwise to repay. Repay. I barely remember what I owe. Oh, matters not. Hmm, need not have waited so long. Perhaps if you paid through some other means, you might rest easy. Have you anything else may take as payment? Anything valuable? I like that. Speak of debts of an age long since past. Consider it settled. Go get some rest. I'll hear no more. That sounds like the goody goody option that we're not going to take. What debt is this? I'm not going to ask. Yeah, do you have anything valuable? It's not gold, I owe, but honor. Your clan was a refuge to me and my to my family until you fought them off when I could not strike my my children. Changed their change to doubles. You you have no need of wealth. We waded through dragon hordes and left with empty pockets. You and I. You have changed much since uh, since you, since I. Death, death took us both. You know what, Durlog, he valued family overall. You're invaders, I will tell you, and he will rest easy. You will repay. If you're an actual ghost, ghosts are like scary AF. Just break line of sight. The limit to his stamina. I don't like the fact that we're going to be tired going to this. Yes? We'll pull back a scooter. Right. That's not going to work too well with the bottleneck. Oh, well. Dorn's stuck in there as well. Okay, try to get in there, guys. I must rest, Night Singer. Get out of the doorway, Vicon. Wait, did you just shadow door? So they're now invisible. How may I be of assistance? Shadow door, I think, is the one that 
gives you an improved invisibility. What do you want? Um. You are so irritated. I don't think the spell magic's gonna be the thing. I will listen for now. I grow torpid and require slumber. What is it this time? Here, I'll untrap this while I'm here. Did are we fighting or did you just Beat run away? There he is. What is it now? Spell magic. Is there really no one else? Attempt to drop some magic missiles on you. I could try turn undead, but I don't know about that. Um. All right, go. Touch someone else, you filthy swine. Oh yes, of course. You can't target spells, invisible or sanctuary creatures. Uh, in, uh, uh, dispel magic might work because it might be an AOE. How may I be of assistance? We've got a little bit of confusion going on, which might cause my party members to attack what is it this time? ourselves. You all have ranged attacks, though. What do uh, you? Bail off. There you go. Miss, miss, hit. Although, are we not doing damage? Oh, well, the, I guess we're hitting uh, mirror images. It's legit. Why are we hearing bird sounds in here? That's weird. Also, why is he like... Oh, 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 okay. <clears throat> Alright, so that, yeah, that whole battle was very, very, very poorly handled. How may I be we can do better this time. Actually, we'll do better next time. Time to put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.